Hi, English 122 online students. I'm here to share with you very quickly um, a tip on how to get notifications about when grades are posted and some other stuff too. So you'll notice that I'm on um, the announcements page. You all, I teach English 122 section 503 and 505. So sometimes you're going to see 505 at the top, sometimes 503 at the top. All the information is the same for both courses. So if I'm on the announcements page and I click on announcements and I go to notifications, and you're going to want to do this because I know you're going to want to get some instant notifications from me on certain things. You can come down into this instant notifications list and click where you want to receive an email when I have posted something in D2L. Announcements, I'm probably going to do one, maybe two per week, like for module two, this will be the second um, announcement for the week. Um, you can see when I've posted um, new assignments, when I have graded assignments, assignments we will use to submit essays, so that might be a good one to check for EML. Um, you notice there's like a due date reminder, feedback updated, that kind of stuff. So pick the one that you think works best for you. Um, content stuff, I, I wouldn't have it sent to you. I don't release the modules until 12.01 um, a.m. on the Monday of the beginning of each module, so you know when those are being released. Maybe discussion board posts, if you're really um, looking for those. You will some weeks get some responses, some weeks not. Um, if you're doing um, a post in your, your private journal that's not posting to the whole class, when I um, respond to it, or um, probably what I'll do more often than respond to it is grade it and then respond in the feedback there. So, you know, I'm sort of going to recommend that you do mostly the grades because then you'll get an update on when, when a grade is posted and you can read my feedback. And it's more likely that I'm going to put my feedback in the graded item than in the discussion because um, it's more efficient for me to just give you feedback there. And then quiz um, grades, um, date or end date, when it's two days away. And remember, the quizzes aren't quizzes in this class. I'm not testing your knowledge. I'm actually using them to help you to develop an essay or to work on concepts, practice writing skills that you'll be applying to or in an essay. So just wanted to show you this, um, and I recommend that you choose what you want. Um, I would also not recommend the summary of activity because it's just going to show a summary of everything that's happened and I've done that in certain online classes and it's not as useful as, as I wanted it to be. I would rather have you know, specific information sent to me and you get to select that here so I would look through and choose the ones that you want. Let me know if you have any questions y'all. I hope you're having a great module too. Um, I'm getting ready to post some information. Um, in our shell about some uh, rhetorical analysis templates. I'll be looking at the posts you're making about uh, fleeing to the mountains this week. I think you're getting one response from a classmate, but I'm going to look over at what people have posted through probably the middle of the day today um, and use that information to create some rhetorical analysis templates, and that will help us also to review inductive and deductive argumentation um, which I mentioned in the lecture this week. So I'm looking forward to seeing what work you have in, in the discussion board post on fleeing to the mountains. Have a great end of the week, y'all, and a happy weekend. And um, it's been great working with you and reading your discussion board posts and introductions again this week to get to know you even better than I did last week. Take care. Talk to you later.